I think that multilateralism was not stronger enough to have a collective, fast and comprehensive response to, to the pandemic in the early days. And, and why do I say that? Because I think we were all fighting to get ventilators and we were all fighting to get tests and we were all fighting to get reactives and we were all you know, chasing each other to see who was first. And, and maybe the same thing is happening in some sort of way with vaccination, but something that I think has been learned and that has until now worked in the, in the way that the world is preparing for vaccination is the COVAX strategy. Because COVAX has called the multilateral system so that high income, mid income, low income countries are all together and we can gain in, in, um, in, in terms of, uh, of the size of our economies so that the countries with bigger income, with their buying, allow to have a major reduction in the price of vaccines for low income countries. I see that with optimism. But let's also be clear, the, the, the response from COVAX, which is very important, has limitations in terms of the size. That means that countries will have to go through COVAX, but at the same time, they have to go to bilateral negotiations. And obviously, in terms of the bilateral negotiations, there are some weaknesses in low-income countries, and I think we, we all need to find a solution. And that can be dealt uh, inside the UN, it can be dealt in the World Bank, it can be dealt in the World Health Organization, you name it. But the most important thing is to understand that the only way the world can have uh, uh, um, uh, herd immunity is once we have all gone through a massive universal and equitable system of vaccination.